So the game just got its full release, which means our little froggy boy can go ahead and plant some crops and defend them from all the little bugs that are coming in. Like these weird flies here that look like they have little like scruffy collars from the olden days. Only thing is our little froggy can't really water plants, so we need to find a fishing spot or a mining spot here. And then once that is harvested, then a plant matures right away. Woo! So we get to collect it for instant XP and we mine a few more things. This one will give us extra money and then we get more goodies. So we get a level up. And since our froggy's specialty is mining and fishing, we'll go ahead and take this mining speed upgrade, which sadly takes away from the fishing speed, but we might as well just hit those up because we have more plants to collect. And we get instant experience from the fish. So let's go ahead and get some pickup range and knockback, even though the knockback really isn't effective if we're just killing the bugs right away. Ooh, and this looks like a platinum thing. Oh, extra gold. I like it. And we're so close to another level up. Let's get a fish right away. The shop opened up because we advanced to the next day. Oh, that was a big fish. And this one is worded weirdly, but it looks good because we get extra ore spawns and all these crops got leveled up. Excellent. And this experience gain is basically free because the plants mature right away so they don't need thirst. Now let's go what to the shop, pet the doggy once, and then get some more things that we can plant. What has the most experience? It looks like the potatoes over here do. So let's get as many of those as we can. And then we can get some seeds for a pitchfork weapon, which sounds good. And then we have money left over to buy some more farmland. That will go really good for us because we have a lot of seeds to get through. Planting all the potatoes. Boil and mash them, stick them in a stew. And now we have grasshoppers and gnats that are approaching us, but they die right away, which is very good. And let's just see how many plants that we can mature before we collect them by collecting all the fishies. Ooh, gain the, all the XP. Oh, mining yield when a fish is caught. That looks like a good upgrade, even though there was only one of those, but we're collecting more fish, which means we have better mining yields. And we can get more mining yields with a pan. That means extra money. And and there's a lot of bugs that are sadly being dodged by the weed whacker weapon that I have. Get some instant level ups. And in normal cases, this would be a good upgrade, but it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to take the attack frequency. Ooh, a fasting ritual. Better attack size and damage. I like that idea. We lose a little bit of max health, but that's not too big of an issue for us. Oh, we got a pitchfork now. Nice. Extra attacks. Now we, ooh, in this spot, we can mine and fish at the same time. That's very good. And what did we just get there? It was a rag it looked like but now we can ooh extra damage don't mind if i do what and another selling? level up right away okay shopping first ooh a toucan plant seeds for you yes please the less work i have to do the better oh and these pumpkins have really good experience max out all of those oh perfect extra fishing speed now the toucan should go ahead and plant all the seeds for us while we go ahead and work on maturing the plants which is going to happen instantly because of the fishing this is a very good exchange i have going on oh and those pitchforks do so much damage destroying so many bugs and now we can level up the pitchfork so we get another one and extra damage and i think the move speed and projectile speed is going to be the best thing for us the enemies do get a little bit faster but we're good for that because we can still outpace them and there's so many ducks that are still in the pond get on out of here for no particular reason i just like to see them fly away and i also like to see all these bugs just wander into a pitchfork oh, look at that fish that was a huge one and i'm not really a fan of any of these upgrades so let's go ahead and re-roll so we can get more movement speed that looks good now we can definitely outpace the bugs the only problem is these days are particularly short. So is the rate that we level up at, which is a good thing. Ooh, so we can get some max health per resistance. Is that a good thing? We have a 10% bonus to resistance. So we get a little bit of max health from that. Sure, all, all good, good things. things. And the Weed Whacker is starting to do not the damage that he used to. So let's increase our attack size and yield. And then hopefully get some weed whacker seeds in the shop when that opens up next. But instead, we have more pitchforks. Ooh, here we go. More mining yield and speed. And we have no weed whackers or pitchforks in the shop, but we do have bombs. Or a fairy dance. Interesting. I'm curious enough about this. Let's go ahead and buy all of those. And some grapefruit seeds. Neat. Which also costs all of our money. Good to work, Toucan. While I collect all the coins that I forgot the night before. And... Start to wonder what is faster, fishing or mining? Well, there's not much fishing right now, so- Oh, there's a mantis boss! Hopefully we have the weapons needed to take you out. Ooh, especially if you run into the weed whacker, which you really weren't. That's upsetting. Come on, speed up, speed up. Yeah, comb through them or whack them. I believe that's the appropriate terminology. Okay, the fishing is particularly slow, but that spot that it was at is shiny. So there's gotta be something good there. Just gotta get close up to it. Oh yeah, it's another one of those big fish. I like the looks of that. I also like the look 
looks of the boss being down to half. Okay, attack duration is absolutely a good thing. Ooh, better mining and fishing yield. We lose some crop yield, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter if we're harvesting the crops instantly and focusing on some more fishing spots for more goodies. Oh, that was a fairy. Oh, look at you. You're gonna tell me to, hey, listen, aren't you? The boss is still around, but ooh, the fairy got upgraded. So we can get more attack size and duration. I like the looks of that. The fairies got bigger and we have a lot of money right now. 3,600. We should be able to buy all of these grapefruits again for all those seeds. I'm interested in these yo-yo seeds the yo -yo because yo-yos are fun. And that's all we can do there. Time to play more things and hopefully take out this boss. He is almost dead. Come on, drop it and get away from all of these flea things. They just look like silly little guys. Oh, the boss is dead. He dropped a chest. I gotta get to the chest somehow. Get these bugs out of here. Go through the water. The bugs can swim, I guess. Oh, I got the chest. Open it. Aha! Ooh, an elephant or a cat? We don't really need to worry about watering, so let's get the cat. Because he'll attack enemies for me. Oh, such a good little kitty. I'm gonna call him Magnus, like my cat. And we can go for some more attack frequencies because there's more bugs that are showing up. And does that affect Magnus's attack rate? I think it might. So it can be just like him in real life because he is a spicy boy. So do I want more mining yield or fishing yield? This one comes with damage. I think that's a good thing. Oh, and we have the yo-yo weapon. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, wow, that just, wow, that just swings around. I like it so much. I need more damage on that. Oh, yes, and then just hit everybody. That is beautiful right there. And we can already upgrade it again. Oh, for better attack size. And two yo-yos. Is that what that means? Do I get two yo-yos? I get two yo-yos. Look at this. I'm just gonna keep yoing. And swing that way. And swing that way. Yes, hit all the bugs. Beautiful. We survived another night. Okay, this one, I don't really care about the water capacity, but the attack size is gonna be really nice. Especially since the pitchforks and the yo-yos are getting bigger. Those are bigger than me now. Ooh, I can get another toucan. Sure. And these pumpkin seeds once again. And we can get more fairy seeds. All of them actually. I love that. Oh, and look at all these mining spots up here. There's gonna be a lot of crops to harvest. And do you hear that? There was a weird whooshing sound, but there's also more bugs coming in. So is that what that was? I'm not sure. I'm also not too concerned because I could just evade them entirely and collect all of these things so we can get more fairies along with attack frequency, yes. And then we could get a peg leg for better mining and fishing. Yeah, I like that idea. I need to find another big shiny fishing spot. I also need to get these yo-yos moving again because they don't do anything when they're standing still. Ooh, we could get some fishing speed, but we lose some mining speed. Although our fishing is pretty slow. So let's just go ahead and take this, get it leveled up and look at all the bugs that are taken out because the yo-yos just go absolutely crazy. Whoa, okay, speaking of crazy, look at that fishing spot, it's got gold old yellow shiny things. But there's also a big old spider right here. Get on out of here. I need to fish that spot and collect all of this money so we can get more things. Is that a second spider? I think that's a second spider. Go away. So I can collect pumpkins and oh, look at all the fairy seeds. Yes, more fairies for more attack size. Getting some big old fairies, hopefully. And get this fish. Get the fish, get the fish. The spider's closing in. Get the fish, get the fish, get the fish. Whoa, Ooh. I don't even know what kind of fish that was, but that was cool. And we can max out the plate mail upgrade and visit the shop once more. So look at the experience of these raspberries. I need this. Sadly, there's no pets available, but I think it's time for a new attack. So let's go ahead and get the toad oil. So we should be able to upgrade that weapon very quickly right away. And hopefully we take out this spider quickly right away because it's a bit tougher than the mantis, it seems like. And thankfully these yo-yos are good at just clearing out so many things or at least knocking them back. So I need to find another big spot, though it might be a while. So we'll just focus on some smaller fishing as much as we can before we have to run away. Oh, there go the fairies again. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> look at this thing. Look at the little face. It's like my sticky note. Oh, now I I have to take that one. I don't write the rules, I just follow them. And oh good, fairies again. Fairy, take out the spider, take out the spider. The fairies do some good damage against the spider, it looks like. Oh, oh, but the bugs do some really good damage against me too. I don't like that. I need to find an apple lying around. Hey, like this one. That did good things. Ooh, another shiny spot, yes. Okay, that spider was definitely not there before. I think he moves around. Anyway, he's dead now, so he's not moving anymore. Time for another pet. Okay, interesting. Capybara makes the crops grow faster, but I'm not sure I really need that. So let's just go ahead and water the plants, which I also don't exactly need, but you know, between the two and get all the crops before I visit the store again. And I think attack frequency on the toad oil is going to be the better thing. Ooh, just a lot of crit damage right away. How much do I have already? 30%, <gasps> that can make 100% crit damage. 
It's not crit chance, which I'll have to work on, but one thing at a time. Oh, here's the weed whacker. Perfect. Gonna get more of this right away before anything else. And then we buy some more grapefruits, 11 of those, and we can still buy more farmland. That's excellent. Good doggy. Okay, I kind of need to get out of here. Oh, but the toad oil cleared a path right away. Wow. That was a lifesaver right there. And we can upgrade the weed whacker again. Plus two amount or attack size. I like plus two amount right away because at least it covers more area, which we kind of need because a mantis is here again. Yes, just walk through the puddles and get your feet burned off or something. I don't know how oil works. Ooh, but we can max out the prospecting axe. I like this idea. So we need to find more mining spots, which thankfully there's plenty up here usually. That is so many bugs. Ah! Just get through them, get through them, get around them, get around them, run away, run away. I am faster than you, run away, get the apple. Yes, okay, healing up good. Mantis is still here. I'm not liking that very much. I need to collect some crops and also mine some things and run away and keep running away. Ooh, and upgrade the weed whacker again. More attack frequency and ooh, two amount with some extra good things. I like this idea. We're just gonna get a whole like ninja star thing of weed whackers. Oh, and all the bugs died. Yes, that is very good for me. Finally, some breathing room. Yeah, let's go ahead and get another elephant. Just so I can collect as many pets as I can. And then we buy all the raspberries that we can. Ooh, should we upgrade the pitchfork or the fairies? I'm thinking the pitchfork because we need to take care of enemies that are close to us. Not that we could buy all the seeds anyway, but now it's time to, oh yes, put all the weed whackers against the mantis. That is beautiful right there. And do it again, do it again. Yes, chop through the health aha oh we could get the golden retriever retrieves loot drops yes please you got a lot of coins to get to my friend at least i think that's what you do where are you going not sure what corner of the map you're trying to get to i'm just gonna do my own thing and okay i need to camp out in this mining spot here as much as i can thankfully we were able to take out a whole lot of bugs but they're also starting to hit us quite a bit which i'm not a fan of Need to keep this weed whacker up as much as possible. And keep going through the mining spots. Very good, very good. All three of those are dead. So we need to keep moving. Oh, to the shiny fishing spot. Hide in the water. The bugs can't hit me in the water. I will tell that to myself so I sleep better at night. And get more damage. Because it's about time we got that. Ooh, and upgrade the pitchfork again. For more of them. Always more weapons. For more pokey things. Because you do the hokey pokey and that's what it's all about. Okay, now all the weapons in here are things that I already own. So what do I want to upgrade next? I'm thinking the yo-yo because the yo-yo gain 19 upgrades is going to be hilarious. I didn't realize how much money I had. 12,000. Sadly, none of these seeds are really high yield. Let's just buy the farm plot right now. And oh, we can actually buy it a few times. I didn't realize that. We just maxed it out. And then we'll re-roll this. Hopefully get some better things like raspberries. Yes. And we can also buy some pumpkins. We are going to have a huge garden of crops. I need to mine a lot of things because I think, whoa, okay, what are these? Bull beetle things. Those aren't real. And they're about to not exist anymore either. Okay. They're actually dealing a lot of damage to me. I need to get away from this, this entire madness that's going on here. It's like a whole multiverse of madness. And that seems to be all that the bugs are. It's just a whole bunch of these bull things. It's not even both frogs, unless that's a thing, which would be funny if it was. I need to get through them, and there's a spider right there. Run the other way. Gotta find the path of least resistance and then travel it. Also get back to my garden. Oh, and get the apple. Yes. Okay, apple, good things. And also getting all the weapon upgrades is also good things. So we can get more attack size. Yes. Bigger yo-yos. And <laughs> more things. Okay, do I want more yo-yos or should I actually increase the damage quite a bit? I think I need to increase the damage quite a bit. And I can get attack size with the watering can. So that makes up for it. And we have just maxed out the yo-yo. Ooh, and this one increases damage and attack size and duration. So many good things. Look at the size of these yo-yos. That is amazing. Keep away all of you. Actually, please do keep away because I have less than half health. And I'm not a fan of that. I am a fan of all the bugs going away, though. So quickly make my way up here. Okay, what should we try to max out next? Probably the weed whacker. Get all of those seeds that we can. And then why don't we just reroll the shop for... Oh, I can't buy any more weapon seeds? Oh, I just wasted that. The yams are pretty good on experience, but let's reroll one more time so we can get raspberries. And the spider boss is still here, so let's just try to focus on that one as much as we can with all of the yo-yos and the weed whacker blades. Okay, that's a lot of dragonflies and weird kiwi bug things. Oh dear, I don't like being forced to have to travel 
on the far reaches of the map, but the kiwi bugs are also looking pretty stinky. Are those dung beetles? That might be what they are. Oh dear, I think we have four more days to go and it's looking kind of bad here. Come on, get through them. Yes, 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 go this way, go this way. Dragonflies are pretty weak, weak sauce. This is starting to get stressful. I'm just trying to manage a peaceful little garden here and all these bugs are getting all up in my business. Go away. Oh, good. At least I can upgrade the weed whacker more. Ooh, and we upgraded again. I am going to need a bit more health regen, aren't I? Let's go ahead and take this one. It also increases projectile speed, which I'm a fan of. Okay, now the weed whacker is doing some really good things. The duration almost looked like it was about to double up on each other, which sadly is not what happens. But anyways, let's get another elephant just because the pets are there. Ooh, and the watermelons were so much XP. I need you. I probably should have saved some money for weapon things so the garden can get going on that. And then I can take care of the spider pretty quickly I feel like hopefully before all the other bugs show up okay these ones are actually pretty small they're very manageable okay but there's another boss Ooh, we got rid of one boss though another pet Ooh, another toucan I like planting seeds more Bruh. even though I don't really have more seeds to plant but I'm really thankful for this wave because these bugs just go down like nothing so I should just be able to park my butt somewhere and then mine up all the things as quickly as I can and we should probably check out the big pond as well because I'm pretty sure yeah there's a shiny fish over there I need you and I also need these dung beetles to die a lot quicker than they are okay I was worried before but now it's actually looking pretty decent right now as far as survivability especially because my frog is at full HP and we can quickly pass by the garden collect all of those Ooh, more knockback and attack frequency can we level up once more yes we can Ooh, for more ore spawns and mining yield thank you very much now what can we get from the shop okay more pitchforks get all of those I might not have needed to buy all of those whoops come on mantis you need to die before the next boss shows up okay another pitchfork for more of this good stuff it's all good stuff but that's really good stuff and so is all this money lying around I need that dog to start collecting the money I also need these bugs to go away a lot quicker so I can carve on through and the mantis needs to go down a lot quicker than it is but I should be able to sit here while the fishing mines while the fishing mines while the fishing fishes and oh yes get another big fish like that beautiful self sharpening I like that idea and I also like the idea of collecting this mining spot hopefully quickly I'm starting to get overwhelmed a little bit but we get away and we're fine. Come on, mining speed. Do the good things. Do the good things. Also, destroy the mantis. Would also be good things. Yes, and we get another chest for another pet. Another cat. Two Magnuses. That is definitely something I don't need in my life. Oh, yes, but more big fish. It's time to visit the garden because look at all of those weapons that are harvested. I don't even think I can get them all. But this is plus four amount to the pitchfork. How can I say no to that? I mean, you can get more attack frequency. Gain some extra big weapons here. Yes. Okay, now I should be careful about how many seeds I'm buying here. I'll probably buy 10 of the fairies and then the rest of the toad oils. That should be good. Hey, we already upgraded our toad oil to extra attack size. There's so many. Oh my gosh, look at these things. Okay, they just kind of showed up really quick. Hold up, what are they wearing? Jackets? Yellow, they're yellow jackets. I get it, I get it. Very funny game, funny joke. But what's extra funny is getting the fairies upgraded for a whole lot of damage and attack duration. I like that idea. And there are so many yellow jackets on the screen, oh my goodness. And we should just have one more day to survive after this, I believe. Ooh, XP drops every time a seed is planted. Say no more. Even though I don't really have seeds to plant right now, but I will after this night and we can buy seeds one more time on oh, another doggy get the doggy and we can get the rest of these seeds that we can but we're getting xp drops every time a seed is planted which i absolutely love so what's the last wave of bugs gonna look like okay it's kind of everything at once mantises grasshoppers and so many things keep them all away which we're actually doing really good at especially since there's tiny little gnats that are sprinkled in there what are you doing you silly little things hey we got all 48 farming plots occupied at once oh gosh okay the bugs are starting to damage me. I need to focus on that a little bit more because I got 30 more seconds to survive. Ah, get away. Come on, Weed Whacker. Kick into overdrive and come on. Get, get through, get through, get through, get through. Get away, spider. Get away, spider. I don't like you. I like the potential of you dying, but I don't like you. And oh yes, we got the Wumbo. Big frog time. Destroy all the bugs. We destroy everything. All of the Wumbos. So many good things. That was amazing. And we got so many rewards too. A whole lot of gems and extra froggies. That's a whole lot of gems that we got. Which, if we go back home, there's a new area that we have access to, which we can use to get some upgrades, such as better attack duration, which unlocks health on level up. We can get all the way up this tree. Attack frequency when a weapon is harvested. Oh, we can't buy it. That costs, that costs a lot, actually. And there's also a backyard here, which I'm not too sure what it's for. 
But there's a big expansive area with just a watering well and a garage of sorts. Really don't know what's going on back here, but maybe we'll find out in a different video. So if you guys want to see that, then be sure to let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of Pesticide Not Required, and thank you very much for watching. Sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir 1, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Deviant X, Lucas S, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bice, The Minor Within, DeGarity, Sands, Isaac, Hometown Medic, Miguel, and Drew.